To change a circuit breaker, you start by removing the electrical panel's cover. There should be four screws, one on each corner of the panel. Once the panel is removed, find the breaker you want to change and loosen the screw at its side with a screwdriver. Then pull out the wire. This can be done live, but if you're inexperienced working in a panel, I would turn off the main breaker. With the wire out of the way, you can take out the breaker. Pull it from the inside of the panel to the outside. Breakers don't have screws holding them in place, so they're pretty easy to remove. The wire you pulled out of the old breaker slips into the slot just under the screw on the new breaker. There are two indentations where you can insert a wire. Slide the wire into one of them and then tighten the screw. And make sure the breaker is switched off so the circuit doesn't energize when it snaps in place. These clips on the back of the breaker are called bus bar clips. They're what secures the breaker to the bus bar inside the panel. Don't over tighten the screw when you install it. Just get it snug enough so that it won't pull out if someone yanks on the wire. When you push the breaker in place, you should hear a loud snap if it seats properly. If not, wiggle it a little bit and push it until the clip locks into the panel. Next, I test the breaker with a multimeter to make sure it's working properly. A 120 volt circuit should read about 120 on your meter. Make sure the number on your new breaker matches what's on the old one. Usually it's a 15 or 20 on a single breaker and a 30 to 40 on a double. That number is uh, the amperage of the circuit. Finish up by reinstalling the panel cover and doing a final test of the breaker. When you flip it off and on, it, it should feel tight and it should snap into place.